We're here in Douglas at the NSC for Cancer Research UK Relay for Life 2017. What an incredible event it has been. I have been watching, well, from the comfort of my home, I have to say, and of course on social media. This event has been organised incredibly well. It's sponsored by PokerStars. There's over 850 entries this year, which is Lynn, event chairman. That is like it's staggering. I mean, those must be the highest numbers yet. Yeah, certainly it is um, the highest we've experienced here in the Isle of Man. And actually it may be the highest in the whole of the UK this year um, as part of there's 55 relays in the um, UK so we could be top of the UK as well. well congratulations for that obviously that must be just exactly what you were hoping for. Yeah it's absolutely fantastic for, for an island of 80,000 plus how we managed to pull so many people in is it's just overwhelming every year we get bigger and bigger and it's it's fantastic. Alex, we're here for the last hour. I actually feel really bad because I've just walked in, fresh-eyed-ish, uh, into an event that's been going for 23 hours now. We're in the last hour of it. How are you feeling? A little bit tired, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm about 30 hours in now, but um, it's been a great event and the sort of spirit around you keeps it going and it keeps you awake without the coffee. So, How is everyone out there? Positive. I think the whole point of this event is to remain positive and sort of look back but also obviously celebrate research and look at obviously the future and what your money goes towards. And of course there is going to be an awful lot of money that's being raised for this event today and everybody involved. We've not just got of course teams doing relays, we've got individuals and we've also got cancer survivors I, I believe that are recognised by wearing purple today Lynn. Yeah they have the, the purple t-shirt and it's really motivating for the rest of the teams to see uh, the, you know these people walking around and joining us and being part of the relay family. And what ages are we talking about that are taking part today? Um, I think the youngest is two year old and we've probably got a 75, 80 year old person walking as well. So the range take is... take the opportunity huge. now to speak to the oldest walker here at the NSC with Relay for Life, um, Derek, who is 84 years old. It's lovely to have this conversation with you, Derek, because obviously you are a survivor of cancer. Just tell me a little bit about your story. Uh, well, I was in South Africa when I was diagnosed with cancer. And I went through an operation there and uh, finished up with having radiation treatment. And that was some 48 years ago. So, and uh, since then, I've been going well. 48 years, I mean, that's staggering, isn't it? They, I'm sure at that point when they diagnosed you 48 years ago, you wouldn't be sure if you would be here walking around 18 laps of the NSC track. No, no, I, do, I wouldn't have guaranteed it then. But uh, I can now, and I'll be back next year as well. What's an event like this mean to you? It means all the world. I think it's actually fantastic that we can do this sort of thing and spread the fact that uh, cancer can be treated and beaten. Okay, well this is a novelty to be walking around the NSC track with Jana Williamson, of course, uh, and the Big Knicker Gang. <laughs> we are into the last 30 minutes of um, this walk, this 24 hour walk. Can I just first of all ask you how you're feeling? tired and sore feet but we've had such a great team with us all weekend and it's for such a fabulous cause it's been absolutely excellent and we've raised nearly five thousand pounds which is for just the most amazing amazing cancer research so that is an incredible great. amount of money isn't it and you only yeah. started raising a couple of weeks ago didn't you yeah we did we decided to do it earlier on in the year for a friend's um, mum who's going through cancer treatment and then unfortunately um, a friend passed away in May with um, the start of lung cancer um, and leaving behind two little boys. So very f um, close family friends. So, And they've been here to support, I believe, as well. Yeah, Chris, Ali's husband and sister-in-law and brother-in-law have been here for the whole event. And the, two, what, the eldest boy, who's three, has been running around yesterday and today. So it's just been fantastic. So I know it's such an emotional event as well, isn't it, this? Yes, yeah, definitely. But we've all stuck together and that's what friends are for. You've got a big gang of friends behind you, haven't yeah. you, hey? <laughs> Who has walked the most out of you all? Well, <laughs> I've got flip-flops on. <laughs> all of us, we've all, um, we, tried, we set up a rotor a few days ago, which went complete pot. And we just decided we'll all just pile in. It's just been incredible. And we've had some real giggles for the last 24 hours. I bet you have. What are you going to do to celebrate at the end? Go to bed. <laughs> Is that a general feeling? Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's going to go to bed and go to sleep. Well, I'm going to let you crack on with the last lap. Thanks so much for talking to us, Jenna. Thank you. Thank you. Woo! 
Pokestars sponsored the event Relay for Life um, here at the NSC, 24 hour walking. Sue Hammett, uh, your title please? <laughs> Head of Corporate Giving. <laughs> I thought I'd let you say that. Um, Sue, obviously, you've co I've come in on this at, like, in the last hour and uh, I feel really guilty yeah, well, actually. You look amazing and I look like this after 24 hours. I know. <laughs> you have been up for probably more than 24 hours realistically. How are you feeling? <laughs> They're happy, amazing and, and, and thrilled that they've raised so much money this year. I mean, they've smashed last year's uh, total on the day already. Um, very emotional. Um, I lost somebody this week to cancer. So it's been even more poignant this w to, today. And uh, yeah, we're just tired, but we're happy and, and delighted. And everyone is just amazing. You know, I've seen dinosaurs. I've seen <laughs> men in tutus. I've seen Miss Relay, things that I never want to see again. You know, men dressed in... <laughs> very strange outfit shall we say <laughs> but it's been awesome it has and it's just it's the Isle of Man for you coming together and it's the biggest relay in terms of numbers in the UK I mean and for an island our size that's absolutely incredible so um how po important is it for Pokestars to be in a, involved in an event like this well we've we've got a relationship with Cancer Research UK anyway we sponsor also the Bobby Moore Golf Day here on the island and we've had a partnership with CR UK for oh gosh three or four years now so um so for us to be part of one of the biggest community events on the island man is, is really important communities at our heart as well so and this event for actually for CR UK is actually one of the biggest events in the yeah, UK isn't it I know and we're just incredibly proud to have taken over the baton this year and uh, and our staff have got behind it and uh, I think maybe now they're regressing <laughs> regressing what if you put them through so soon I know what they put them through and um, no I mean it's just I mean just to see everyone come down here that the tents with their you know they have they have gardens in front of their tents, you know, they make a whole 24 hours of it. And uh, I'm no camping queen, believe me. So an air bed for an hour's sleep was about my maximum. But yeah, no, it's been incredible. Back into the office tomorrow? No, it's bank holiday. It's so, <laughs> yeah, bank holiday, thank course. goodness, tomorrow. Back in the office on Tuesday and looking at the next event. Actually, yeah. they told that very well. It's on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> a black hole well, I don't one care, day. but it's, it's perfect timing for me so yeah Poker Stars going to be back supporting the event next year without a shadow of a doubt we uh, I mean it was I, I think I said in in my, my speech you know it's the first year but it's not going to be our last year